the Claret and Blues hired Tammy Abraham, Anwar El Ghazi, Yannick Bellassi, Axel Tuansby and Andre Moreira on temporary deals from top flight clubs last summer. But Smith wants to start building his own team and had this uplifting message when asked about transfers. We've got good loan players here at the moment but I would prefer to develop our own players rather than bringing in loans and improving them for other clubs, he said. That's just my opinion. We have targets in mind and they will be presented to the powers that be. One of those targets is Lavra Kalinic, the Gent goalkeeper who Villa wanted to sign back in January 2016. Slow Speaks Bleeds fan verdict Tammy's future fringe chance good progress has been made, as reported by Birmingham Live yesterday, and the 28-year-old is set to become Smith's first signing. A left-sided defender is also on the radar and other plans have been put forward, but the boss was keen to point out the only, minor surgery, is required. These are the Aston Villa players who could be unleashed on Leeds United how financial fair play regulations will impact on the next window is still unclear, though. When asked about whether restrictions would be in place as Billy have spent heavily in recent windows, Smith said, Myself, Suso and Christian have sat down and there are some players, we would like to bring in. FFP? No idea. Christian or Suso will answer that, clearly Villa need to keep an eye on what they're spending, especially if they fail to win promotion to the Premier League this season. Loan signings are also taking up a considerable chunk, too, as Villa continue to pay out big money on wages. The approach was decided partly because of the summer upheaval at the club. While other championship rivals were making careful and considered plans ahead of the last transfer window, Villa faced the threat of administration and at one worrying time, a winding-up order. A late dash was made to sign players but targets slipped through. Joe Bryan moved to Fulham and is an alternative left back could not be sourced. Villa decided to use the cash by taking a punt on wingers Balassi and El Ghazi instead. Center half Scott McKenna and Harold Mukudi were both targeted on permanent deals but were unable to be completed for different reasons. The plan was always to get a lone striker in, with Abraham top of the list, and his goals have helped the team stay in touch with the top six. Who are it up this wonderful gesture will make all Aston Villa fans proud when asked whether loan signings would be likely in January, Smith added, I've not been told that. When pushed further about targets and whether there have been any crossed off the wish list by the board, he added, I don't believe so, no.